Hey everybody, it's Greg Rice. We're here in Garden City in Cranston and we're with Mr. Dennis Conti of Dennis Conti Designs. How are you, Greg? Local celebrity right in our backyard and I just met Dennis, thankfully to my brother Emilio Despirito. Great guy. He connected us. So we thank Emilio for connecting us. And, Thanks, Emilio. And Dennis, you probably know him. You've seen him out and about. He is an artist and a wonderful artist of that. And he makes all sorts of different apparel. And you can see we're rocking some of his cuffs, which are his signature gear items, and also vests, shirts. And I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to let you get into it. So, Dennis, tell us, how would you get started with this whole creation and this artwork? Well, I was blessed enough to have uh, a family member, my uncle, who taught me how to do the leather work uh, at a young age, back in the 80s. While we were listening to the music, I was learning the craft of leather. And it evolved throughout the years from patches to signature stuff, uh, dog collars, guitar straps, camera straps, vests, like the ones we're wearing. Yeah. Recently, I've tapped into the smart watch cuff where you can slide the watch right onto the cuff. Oh, the Apple one? The, well, whatever. I, I don't yeah. like to say Apple. Well, yeah. But the smart watch is... The smart watch. Gotcha. You know, we have to watch out <laughs> who, we, uh, who we talk about. True. Yeah, it's been great, uh, you know, being blessed with uh, the skills and then just the vision and meeting so many wonderful people through the music industry. I'm grateful that people really rock my cuffs. For sure. Hashtag rock the cuff. That's it. There's thousands of those tags out there. And there's actually thousands of cuffs that I've made that um, you don't really realize it until you start seeing the photos and the pictures yep. and when you're at the shows you see the people. For example here, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith. Rocking the cuff. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. How does that feel when you see an artist not only wearing it, but in, in this case, on stage, for example? How does that make you feel? Emotional. Uh, as an artist, most artists are emotional. They do things through their art, whether good times or bad. They use their art through therapy. Yeah. And then all of my designs are at one point something I may have been going through and then when it connects with the person that can identify with it it's really something it's not only a creation and a design but it's a connection that now I have with that person because yeah. they're wearing something that is usually hashtag one of a kind yep. and doesn't really exist anywhere else for sure mass production is something that I'm not a fan of totally takes the integrity of what I'm trying to do away from what I've achieved. And I'm able to use my skills and my craft through the music that we all grew up listening to. So it's almost a full 360 yeah. listening to the music and then meeting the artists and yep. giving back something that I've made after listening to something they've made. Right. You can't put a price on that. It's a definitely a priceless connection. And again, even with the people that end up buying something from me or designing something, it's magical. Yeah. And uh, it's definitely cool. You know, I use all top quality stuff. Sawarski rhinestones. Yep, I got one here. Yeah. I rock um, it every day, even at the gym now. Yeah, yeah. I try not to take it off. I just keep it on all day. Well, they do age, and they become vintage pieces. And, and I love it. It's starting to brown up a little bit. It's starting to yep. become me. And that's that's important to me. When you first put it on, you're like, oh, you know, this is foreign. It's it's a little, it's tight as leather can be. But then it loosens up. Like yours, they fit like a glove now. It's yeah, some I wear to work. Yeah. And they take on a different color. Uh, some of the hardware is repurposed. Yep. All the leather is hand cut, layered, it's signed, dated. Yep. Some of the leather is repurposed from jackets, couches. You name it. Yeah, if, if I see a soft leather and someone would like something 
and it happens to be that color. It works out really nice. It's, a, it's not just a leather band that you can buy off of a rack. These really don't exist this way. Right. Uh, and again, it makes it so much more intimate, personal, and I develop a relationship, friendship with the person mm -hmm. that can identify with something that I've made, whether it's religious, whether it's sports, their nationality, nationality, their sports, um, if you're into dogs, you know, animals, uh, everybody grew up with their aunts, with the cameo. Yep. You know, it's just, it's endless. If you're a biker, Harley Davidson, you like exotic skins, snake skin. This is Stingray, Python. Uh, I went on one of the cruises back in the day and I ended up getting some alligator from Cayman Islands. So everything has a story. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of repurposing things. And then we got the kiss here, showing that there, all the symbolic colors there. Red, purple, blue, green. Jean. Jean. Paul. Paul. Ace and Peter, the four original members. You know, this is starts off as a keychain and it's drilled. I cut the bezel off where the keychain part is and then it's hand stitched and the colors go along with it. The interiors matches the color of the leather, the accents, and it makes it so personal if you're just a KISS fan you don't have to really wear it you can just display it with your records right why not wear if you're going to a KISS concert why not wear two of them or four of them yeah if you bring somebody you're <laughs> with you know you can put them together and wear them around your neck oh <laughs> you're getting creative yeah so I've you... made chokers for pinup girls and all kinds of uh, accessories. Grateful enough to have a few pinup girls that wear my stuff. Um, and then talk about the vest, right? So the vest you're seeing me wear here, this starts out as a usually just a, a black piece of leather vest. You buy it at the, the store there, 100 and change. Then you can take it to Dennis and say, you know what, I want this here. I want this here, maybe I want something hanging, something dangling. Tell us about vests that you've made. Well, I've made multiple vests uh, with all kind of designs. Ted Poley is actually a proud supporter of mine that he sent me a trench coat and then he said, have fun with it. So I cut the sleeves off, made a trench vest, stitched it all, <laughs> cut out some stars, I actually did his logo on the back of it, which is him singing his silhouette, mm -hmm. all in Sorsky rhinestones. Many hours of work, but it looks great on stage. The light captures all the rhinestones when they're performing. Yep. Uh, he's got a denim vest that I've made with some bandanas stitched all on it. I've made pants for Bradley Entertainment. Shout out to Bradley. 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 Rock the cuff, brother. You're the best. Uh, he's got multiple cuffs and his wife, Angie. They do the sleazy, slimy Sundays. Yep. And uh, he's got a lot of followers. And just going to M3, Monsters of Rock Cruise, I was able, lucky enough, to meet many people from all over the world. Uh, I've met people from Turkey, Germany. You know, today's Doro's birthday. She's actually got a couple of my cuffs. Uh, she's from Germany. I've got people from France, Italy, you know, so it's global. It's something that's um, special yeah. to me and to them. And the cuffs end up making themselves, believe it or not. I start out with the centerpiece and then they just evolve. You know, uh, if I try to work on something from start to finish, it just takes the shape of itself. Yeah. So sometimes I'll take some time lay a few things out, step away, take some pictures of it, see how it looks. And they just evolve. There's a few local photographers, shout out to Eric Tier. I just currently made him a camera strap with all guitar picks on it. Nobody knows what to do with their guitar picks, so why not put them on something? Yep. Stitch them all on there with some hand cut accents. Then you can switch out your camera straps when you want. Yeah. He's a photographer, so I made a cuff for him with a camera in the middle 
He loves the music, so there's a G cleft on one side, and then there's an electric, uh, an electric guitar. Beautiful. With some wings, simple, uh, symbolizing all the lost souls that, throughout the years, that we've had as friends, and yeah. you know, it's more of a memento and symbolizes something special than just a bracelet you pick up off the shelf. Right. So there's a lot of thought put into these things. And I like working with people when I lay out the cuff and they give their input. You like the input or do you think they're I do. bothering you? I like what Ted said, hey, Dennis, just run with it. Well, what happens is you can't get too far ahead because I want to make them part of it. By making them part of it, by sending them pictures as I build it, whatever it may be, it gives them the opportunity to input their creativity as well as an artist. Because mm -hmm. most people that I deal with are some type of artist. It's more of a collaboration. I'm ultimately the one making everything, putting everything together, and they allow me freedom, but it personalizes it when they can put their designs and, mm -hmm. you know, they may want it arranged a little different. And once you take a picture of it, you can kind of see how it's coming together. It makes it a collaboration of me and them. It makes them feel more part of it. Yeah. And they had something to do with it. So. How about this? All right. Aerosmith, Poison, Kiss, all these big bands, all these bigger than life guys. What's the most important or the most memorable experience that you've had? Around the artwork, if you could, um, I'm, I'm sure you've had. I mean, they're all, you books. know, there's, there's, I've been lucky enough to meet many great artists, and uh, shout out to Joel Holkstra, because he, he really embraces my work, as Ted Poley does. Uh, it's hard to symbol, uh, single out anyone, but uh, Joel wears stuff all the time is always in a photo right? shoot one on each wrist <laughs> when when i was at m3 a few years ago they did a close-up of him and his guitar the white snake purple rhinestone guitar which is about seven thousand dollars and the close-up showed the guitar and my cuff and they were both bl Clear's blinging thing. and gleaming and I think that's when I got the goosebumps and said, wow, this is really cool. It's legit. Because people took pictures and posted that picture and were tagging me in it left and right. And it's humbling. I mean, none of this I take for granted. I Listen, nobody has to wear any of this. It could all just be a fad, mm -hmm. as people call it. A fad is something that's mass produced and people get sick of it. Mm -hmm. So these are constantly changing. No one gets sick of the music, the artists. Right. By making these one at a time, I'm always meeting new people. Mm -hmm. um, even the military. Shout out to the military. Thank mm -hmm. you for your service. I take the challenge coins. It was Memorial Day, so I posted a picture of the Marines cuff I have, Army, Navy. You try to make each individual feel special in their own way by making these for that person. Not everyone likes the same thing. They may like the same music, but they have different preferences. So mm -hmm. that's what makes it extra special. You know, you don't realize it until you go on a cruise with thousands of people and you're walking through the crowd and people recognize you. Yeah. And do they call you the cuff guy or do they know you? Yeah, they just say rock the cuff. Yeah. And it's a really cool feeling. It never gets old because I'm just a local Mason artist from Cranston. Yep goes to work every day and does this with passion. I do it because I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And it's giving back and people can uh, represent whether it's their team, their band, Yeah, we got some military. Of, the, of all the sports, you got cases of sports. Football, hockey. Baseball. Uh, baseball, yeah. Made a cuff for Sam Horn of the Red Sox. It's cool. I met... Um, Jarvis Green, a couple weeks ago, he was around, mm. gave him a Patriots cuff. And I go to a lot of events and donate a cuff. Yeah. If there's a an event for, let's say, cancer, do a pink theme, 
with the ribbon and donate it so someone can win that and it's given back to a lot of charities that's really important if I go to a bachelor party I'll mm. bring a couple and <laughs> they'll throw a last minute bag together and I, I enjoy giving back to just society in general uh, let them know that uh, it's not all about selling them and getting my name out there it's just about meeting people networking mm -hmm. and carrying on yeah decades and decades of, of music yeah these uh, these will become something that will uh, be in on somebody's bureau yeah. or wrist long after I'm gone or in the rock hall that would be something if they could put something there yep one step at a time I guess just yeah. mentioning it just just throwing that out there yeah that'd be cool so how about this? If somebody at home loves this the way I love it, the way you love it, how do they get in touch with you to check out your inventory and purchase and support what you do? I'm all over social media. Uh, What's Facebook, your name? Facebook, right. Dennis Conti Designs. All one word? All one word. Uh, I have a design page. I have a personal page. I'm on Twitter. And that's Conti with an E. Instagram. Dennis Conti Designs. Because why think of a name for it when you just it's you. use your own name? It's, it's you. me. You know, good people come in my life. There's always going to be the bad ones there, too, and the haters. But they can leave. we welcome both. Yeah. <laughs> we welcome both because, you know, uh, you have to take the good with the bad. Yeah. And uh, I can't control either one. Right. But I can control what I make. I'm blessed with two beautiful daughters, Sky and Zoe. I have two healthy parents. I have a great job, benefits. Yep. You know, I can't ask for more than that. You're a good man. It's my honor to know you. Thank you for your time and Absolutely. It's this is a humbling experience for me because this doesn't happen often. And you'll see me, you'll see Dennis. We're out and about at shows. You'll see us in New Bedford, you'll see us upcoming in Maryland, M3 Festival, and even, you know, Monsters of Rock Cruise. I'm already booked for 2022. You'll Alice see him. Alice Cooper's the headliner of that. And what's better than being on a, on a cruise ship in the middle of the Caribbean with all your favorite artists, musicians, and friends and it's family? It's unreal. It's unreal. You know, you stop at a couple of different uh, islands... You know, there's great people on there. The the gentleman that puts it together, Larry Moreland, shout out to him. They welcome me with, um, you know, just like every other cruiser. But I bring a little something extra yeah, with me. More than extra. And, you know, there's a lot of artists that are on that cruise. And they should actually offer them a little spot during the cruise, like a farmer's market or yeah. an artist, you know, yeah. time where... The cruisers can actually that want to promote their work. Yep, and support that. You know, the, it, it it shows the diversity of what people can do. Who makes earrings? Who makes Correct. pants? Everybody specializes in something. And then there's the people that just want to go and have a good time. Yeah, which is fine. So you know it's what? a mixed bag of whatever you can think of. Music is therapy. Mm -hmm. Agreed. No matter what form of it. It allows you to just get out, meet people, and rock out. Rabble rouse, yep. Thanks again, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, again, folks, you know how to get in touch with us. Greg Rice and Dennis Conti of Dennis Conti Designs. Rock the cuff. Rock the cuff.